be making basics. What's up, YouTube? Beat Making Basics back again with another dope video. Look, today what we're going to be doing is arranging this trap beat into song format in Logic Pro 10. So let's go ahead and jump right in. Make sure you subscribe to my channel and yeah, let's get it. So first things first, I'm going to let y'all hear what the beat is. And then obviously I'm going to have to, um, I'm going to have to actually come over here and name some of this stuff, but I'm going to let you check out what Then it has this other part that's gonna switch um, from this bass to the All right, so that's the beat. Um, now let's just talk about how we're going to arrange this like switch, uh, switch up type beat. All right, how we're gonna arrange this switch up type beat. So let's just go ahead and identify first off what we have here. So we got bells, I'll say bells one, bells two. So get organized, that's the first thing. Pad, clap. Pad zero two, this is an open hi-hat. This is a bass. This is a lead. This is a kick. This is an 808. All right, and then we'll just delete everything else. Uh, quick tip here, if you put shift option in the letter N, as in Nancy, everything you name right here will go right here in the workspace window. All right, cool, so now everything is actually labeled. Let's talk about how we're gonna uh, make this into or turn this into an actual uh, song format. First things first, you have to talk about the s different s types of uh, parts of the song. Obviously, it's simple. You know, you got your uh, your intro, got a hook, which is like your main part of the song, and then you had your verses and an outro. So like, you know, we're doing a switch up type beat. What I want to do is I want to start it off with an intro, go to the hook, then I'm going to start off the, um, the verse and then it's gonna switch up in the middle of the verse and then go back to the hook, then repeat. Okay, so that's the kind of the format here we're gonna be doing. If you push Command R after everything's highlighted, it's gonna basically make a copy. So extend it out like that. And the intros are pretty simple. Usually it's, it pretty much has nothing but the, uh, the melody. Cool. So basically what I'm doing here is I'm muting stuff right here in the workspace window um, as I'm going. So I push the letter or control M on my keyboard and it mutes out stuff. So that's what we're pretty much doing. So we got an intro here. We got the hook. And uh, now it's time to work on the verses. Okay. I'll turn this down some. And let's see here. This is going to be our hook or verse. All right, yeah, so let's go ahead and work on the verses. If you can see here, this is like a 16 right here. Um, and basically what we're gonna do is switch the beat up here compared to there. So like, what I would say is, we're gonna take this 808, mute this out, and then like, mute out the, the bass there. So let's show you what we got. So you got your uh, intro, you got hook, and you got your verse. And then what we can also do too is maybe like take the kick out here, um, 
for the first part of the, the beat here. So let's just listen to this and see how it sounds. I'm just gonna play it from the beginning. So it sounds like it's, it's uh, going pretty well. Um, the rest of this is kind of copy and paste, uh, to be honest. But um, as you can see here, we have these bells um, coming throughout the uh, whole track here. I can even cut this uh, second bell out at the beginning here, and we're alternating those. So you have a cool switch up here between bells uh, or melody and your um, 808 or drum patterns. So like what I would do here now that I have everything where I want it, uh, push command R after I highlight it. So you got a verse uh, hook one hook two verse one verse two Do it one more time and it's gonna be our third hook and then you can just take this and you Got an outro now push command uh, C to copy it Take this playhead you can put your push your greater than or less than signs to move this playhead around and then push command V and Let's do a time check it's really short. So what we'll do is actually uh, do a third verse here. Okay, now tip, if you're looking at this, it's kind of hard to see and differentiate what parts are what. I mean, obviously you can kind of tell, tell from certain things, but overall you can't. So what you can do, a uh, quick tip here, is actually if you scroll over to the very top of the screen and click this guy, this is your tools, and so come over here to the uh, colors, you can actually come over here and highlight certain parts of the beat and makes it easier for you to recognize what's what. So we got verse one, that could be one color. We got verse two, that could be another color. And then, like I said, I was gonna, I'm gonna extend this to a third verse, okay? I'm gonna show you how we can switch things up. Simple, super, super simple switch up. Um, with this so this is another thing i do, can do i can hold down option here and just drag this over like this made a super simple solution for uh doing that so now let's talk about the quickest way right here with the uh switch up you know just adding some variation here on this third verse basically you can alternate these so like i have a higher bell going first on this one and the lower bell going second so now it looks like it pretty much makes it easy to, to identify what's what. We know that these are our verses because they're blue. And we know that these are our, uh, not verses, these are hook. And then, you know, the blue the verses are blue or green. So um, time check here, 245, 230 ish. You feel me? And this is gonna, this is gonna be solid. So a couple of other things that I would do on this, um, this beat right here is maybe like, right before uh, and the hook comes in, cut the beat out just a little bit. Maybe not with the 808s or the, you know, just take out like certain things. Um, you can just come over here and do that on each of these right before the hook. And then we're gonna zoom in like this and maybe take off one measure or even two, like maybe not even one measure, half a measure, you feel me? And it's, it's gonna help out the beat just a little bit. So. Let's listen to this and then we can organize this a little bit more as well. Uh, put this uh, put this at the top here, 808 in our bass, and our kick. All right, so let's look and check this out now.
Wish y'all could see my face right now. I'm making that stank face because the beat is actually pretty hard. Um, obviously, there's more we could do to this. Um, like, we still got to mix it. It is a little bit. Uh, it could be sweetened up a little bit on the mix some. Um, we could also go ahead and play around with some um, some of the stuff in here on the verses and everything. But for the most part, this is a solid um, arrangement um, here in Logic Pro 10. So thank you so much for watching. Thank you uh, for also being subscribed to the channel. If you uh, are new or even if you have before purchased stuff from the, the site, beatmakingbases.com, make sure you go to the site. We're dropping new stuff every freaking month okay so we got new courses on the way new loop packs and stuff like that we will be dropping new products every month check out uh the courses we have there full video courses hours of content that type of vibe we also got like a lot of uh different sound packs and royalty packs royalty free packs that you can download and use in your production so thank you so much for watching i'll see you the next one round